Good evening, here are today's Minute News. Opposition welcomes tabling of AGD reports. The opposition, while welcoming House Speaker Juliet Holness, tabling of two outstanding reports on state agency from the Auditor General's Department on Tuesday, is still pressing for clarification as to why the documents were withheld in the first place. It also called for the withdrawal of a letter in which Holness chastised the clerk to the House of Parliament, Valerie Curtis, for failing to comply with the ruling of the Speaker on the tabling of reports, cameras being considered to catch Mobay's litter bugs. Montego Bay city managers are considering putting surveillance cameras in place to catch litter bugs in the act, even though Mayor Richard Vernon has conceded that the price tag may be an issue. National Museum hosts Matt's Lecture for PEP students. National Museum Jamaica, a division of the Institute of Jamaica, held its annual primary exit profile lecture on Tuesday to assist primary level students to prepare for the upcoming cur curriculum based test on April 24th and 25th. NHT recovers $650 million from failed Dexim deal. The National Housing Trust says it has recovered the $650 million it paid to developer Dexim Holdings Limited as an advance under a failed $2.5 billion agreement for the provision of 200 houses. HTA wants Jamaicans to stop eating parrot fish to save reefs. The Jamaica Hotel and Tourist Association is urging Jamaicans to stop eating parrot fish, arguing that an abstention would help in saving the environment and prevent flooding. Parrot fish are noted to play an important role in contributing to building the reef ecosystem, even though they eat corals. This is because they clean algae growth of corals. More crops needed to supply demand for agro-processed foods. Local farmers are being encouraged to increase the production of crops to supply agro-processors. The Jamaica Business Development Corporation says local agro-processors are innovating Jamaican traditional snacks with a healthy twist to capitalize on the global consumer trend demanding healthier food. In 2023, the newly renovated agro-processing incubator at the JBDC's Incubator and Resource Center facilitated the production of Jamaican $22 million worth of agro-processed products. Don't touch Juliet. Clark blasts Golden for being unprincipled. Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark has accused opposition leader Mark Golden of being unprincipled for questioning the independence of the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Juliet Holness, who is also the wife of Prime Minister Andrew Holness. PNP contemplating legal action against Speaker over Auditor, Auditor General's reports. Opposition spokesman and finance Julian Robinson says the PNP is considering legal action against Speaker of the House of Representatives Juliet Holness over her handling of reports from the Auditor General. He's referring to her initial ruling to have reports from the Auditor General Department first sent to the Portfolio Minister before being tabled. UR report says JPS power outages increased 27% in 2023. The Office of Utilities regular hour says there were over 136,000 power outages by the Jamaica Public Service Company, JPS, in 2023. That was a 26.8% increase over the number of blackouts recorded by the hour in 2022. The hour says the number of electricity outages by the Jamaica Public Service JPS has increased incrementally over the last five years. 
kind of make sure you tune in for our snippet of the news at 6 p.m every evening are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in jamaica discover it right here on jamaica news online tv youtube channel foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in jamaica guess what you are in the right place we bring you reactions to the latest news at 6 a.m 12 noon and straight up news at 6 p.m ask and you shall receive guys so if you are watching this video like subscribe comment or share hit that subscribe button and remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Remember, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. We are always here to give you Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment down below